Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Impact Series uh, hosted by 4.0. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Stefan Dengler, uh, who is the, the co-founder and CEO of Charge IQ. So welcome, Stefan. Hey. So look, for those people that don't know about the business, um, yeah, could you give a quick introduction as to who Charge IQ are, um, the, the kind of the climate issue you're helping to solve and, and, and also your kind of your, your solution to, to, to that problem. Yeah, um, the Bar Charge IQ is um, like the company my co-founder and I founded it's like three years ago. And uh, the issue we identified is like um, the problem the resolving comes from our very own environment. So my co-founder has been driving like battery electric vehicles for almost 10 years. His first e-car was able to drive maybe like 120 to 150 kilometers at a time, which of course is a very limited uh, radius of use. Yeah. We then asked ourselves, why is it actually not possible to relieve the public charging infrastructure? There are like so many private and semi-public, for example, at small companies charging points that are mostly used by only one car and are not accessible to others. So we thought, hey, why isn't there some kind of Airbnb for charging stations? Okay, I like that Airbnb for charging. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, our thoughts were like, um, if I don't need my private charging point, for example, if I'm on the road during the day, how can I simply make it available to thirds? Or if I have like a service yard that is not used at night or at weekend, why don't I offer these resources to residents who, as are um, like parking on the street or maybe have not a charging infrastructure? So our, our topic is how can we increase the utilization of these charging infrastructure, these resources that are not being used really efficient. Yeah, okay, interesting. And, and, and so how have you gone about kind of, I suppose, releasing their potential? Yeah, that's like um, the, the solution, the, the solution to a problem I think you're mentioning. Um, the solution is actually quite simple. So with our software, we enable these owners of these charging stations to easily manage their users and the billing options. So um, we determine who can use the charge point when, at what price, and with what access medium. So we've built like a like a software backend for the operation of private and semi-public charging infrastructure. Okay. And 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 so, so is this um yeah so could it be someone like myself as a as an individual person or are we mm -hmm. talking um but all, and all, and also businesses as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we focus especially on private and uh, like we call it semi-public area. So we don't um, tackle the like the um, public area where there are lots of players, and we just try to make it more efficient to use this private and semi-public charging points. Okay. So, so this would be uh, so when you say semi-private charging, but what what do you mean by that specifically? Yeah, we have like um, the we call it the hospitality scene. We have hotels, we have guest gastronomy, we have like uh, restaurants. Okay. Uh, we have a uh, small medium enterprises, so they all use charging infrastructure, but um, we think they can use it even more efficient. Yeah. Okay. And and so, and so it's yeah. So if I, if I yeah, let's say I own a cafe or a small hotel or something, and I've got a charging point already installed, um, what would be, be the benefit to that person for allowing mm -hmm. someone else to use that charging point? Yeah, um, the thing is, um, like, I don't want to say in former times up to now, um, these charging points were given for free to the customers and guests. And we say uh, it's pretty attractive for um, electric vehicle drivers to use this charging infrastructure. But uh, at one time, it's pretty expensive for you to operate it because you you give all uh, the, the current array for free. And so we say, OK, um, we noticed that um, battery electric vehicle drivers are pretty uh, lucky if they find a charge point and they um, they don't have a problem to pay for it. So yeah. we make it like kind of a business model for those charge point operators. So it means so they by obviously allowing people to charge using their infrastructure, their charging infrastructure, they can then charge for that and, and, and yeah, turn it into a revenue source. Is that right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's not just like a service for free. It's yeah. like a new revenue stream they open up. Yeah, amazing. So, so it's, it's, it's giving more access, more, you know, giving, 
you know, uh, EV, charge, EV drivers access to more charging points, which is, you know, as we know, is a good thing because there aren't, in, you know, by far there aren't enough. But yeah, there exactly. are a lot, like you said, in people's houses, in people's restaurants, hotels, etc., that are just not being utilized a lot. So exactly, and that's pretty interesting what you're mentioning. Uh, that's without knowing what opportunities this has open to us. So today we have like this mixture of user and price management in like various product types. So for example, we enable companies to yeah, significantly reduce the costs of their company cars by developing like a billing option for electric company cars at the private charging location at the employees. Yeah. Or um, for example, like um, if you have a restaurant, so it's pretty easy to, to give away like this more in value. Interesting. And, and and how does it work? So your so, you, so you, it's yours is a, a software based business predominantly. Is that right? Exactly. So, so how easy is it to kind of you know upgrade one of these charging stations yeah. to be able to then allow someone to charge for it and turn it into a revenue stream? That's what we focus on. Should be as easy as possible. So we have like a software as a service backend solution, and we can use goes to every, let's call it, legacy charge point that's already installed on the market. So we don't say, use only this particular charging point or you need a new one from this brand. We can use close to like every charge point that's even installed or it's coming up. So we don't say, use this or this or this one. We can okay. be compared. Yeah. And, and, and how's, it, how's it done then? So like, is it... Um done via an app or something like that. So, so if you, you know, they, they, there's a customer that wants to charge their car, you know, in, in the, the cafe or the restaurant, how do they then pay for that? How do they receive the money for that? Yeah, we have like two sides. So if you're the operator, you have like um, a web service where, where you can configure um, at what time, like for which price, who is charging. And if you're the end user, um, you're um, uh, coming to the charge point and then you'll find a QR code. So you don't have to use a particular app or maybe you have don't have an, a user account so it's super easy just to scan in this qr code just like mine <laughs> and then you can <laughs> then then it leads you to like a payment process where you put in your credit card types and then the charging is starting amazing so so it's not you don't need an app you, do, you can you just use the qr code and make the payment and then off you go charge your car exactly that's like close to our overall mission we say charge point operation made easy is what we are focusing at and this should be possible for all for you as an operator and also for you as like the end customer mm. yeah because look I, I, that's interesting that is, I, I didn't realize that was how it works but I, I was thinking about you know I've got I don't know maybe 10 different parking apps on my phone mm -hmm. where I go to a public car park you pay for your parking on the app but you've, you know you, if you've not got it you need to download the application it, it, they're great but obviously sometimes if you've not got reception it's then tr I've been to the beach before and it's been a nightmare to get reception you couldn't download the app so you couldn't then pay yeah. for your parking but that is clever that you're using a you know, very simple qr code so that's what we exactly that's what we figured out so we say okay we don't want to be the the next uh, app in the app store so we use like the apps everybody on us has on our like cell phone for example i guess you have either um google maps or apple cards and we use this medium to put in our information from the charge point so that you just know, okay, um, at my favorite restaurant site, there's a charge point. And if you go there, then you'll find our QR code on this charge point, just to use it as easy as possible. Amazing. Yeah, that, 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 brilliant. It's, it, I mean, like you said, making it so it, it just it is very simple. Um, and, mm -hmm. you know, that, and that's that's kind of what your tagline is, isn't it? So that's that's great. But tell us a little bit about the company then so, at the moment, Stefan. So how big's the company at the moment? Um, you know, what, also, what, yeah, what, what does the future look like for Charge IQ? What are the plans for the, you know, for the next three to five years? Yeah, okay. Um, Charge IQ um, has been like around for almost yeah, exactly three years from now. So during which we have learned like a lot and have already had some some first success. Uh, since we started in Germany, our very first market was heavily influenced by regulations uh, in addition to GDPR. And the German speciality of, I think you don't know it, is the calibration law. Uh, we have like always challenged that we didn't know that existed, but um, yeah, so far it worked pretty good. So today, however, we have like an easy to use software that meets our customer needs in legally secure and reliable way. And with our team, we're like 10 people right now. We're facing like, we think we are 
making good progress to even some yeah. regularity hurdles. Cool. But and, and what is the and, and what is the kind of vision for the future look like, Stefan? What is the you know if we were to fast forward three to five years, what mm -hmm. do you think the company looks like? How many users would you hope to have? You know, that, how, what, what, what does that look like? Yeah, and um, the vision I would call the vision like it's uh, enabling zero emission mobility for everybody. So it should be easy for everyone to use charging infrastructure and not have like the, the hurdles we have today. And within the next five years, um, they after recently closing our seed investment in January this year, 2023. Um, yeah, thanks. It was a long way, not easy times, but yeah, I think it's good market and yeah, some good yeah. feedback. Um, yeah, we want to enable like everyone who has like a charging station to use it um, even more easily in, in more ways. So we started with um, sharing, for example, it's user management and billing. And I think we have some pretty interesting extensions, for example, to make it even more cost effective and even more easy to use. I'm not giving up too many details, so stay tuned. Yeah. That's coming up soon. Okay, for, um, and what territories are you live in? Is it is it just Germany, or are you are you, you going to is is the plan to are you in other countries? What's the plan in terms of expansion? Uh, we started in Germany. We have like some first European customers, for example, in the really strong European markets in the northern part and in the more eastern part. And um, we're focusing on Europe at the moment. But um, yeah, I don't know what's coming within the next five years. It's a long time. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, it sounds like an exciting journey. So, um, you know, you're obviously making great strides so far already. Um, and so, look, yeah, I mean, it, I, I, unlocking the potential of, of all these kind of private or semi-private EV charging stations, mm -hmm. I think is a, is, a, is a great initiative in itself. Um, and also, <clears throat> if you can make it worthwhile, so, you know, if you can, if you can make the owner of that, that charging point you know, it's like a financial re a potential re small revenue stream for someone it makes it you know again it's like a win-win isn't it for everybody um, exactly. so it, yeah, it makes a lot of sense like i said it's, it's completely very very simple which i love as well so that would be good to perhaps revisit this in a few years time stefan see how that's you what we do. On and, and and see what the progress has been sure that's what we do so excited to come Good stuff. All right. Well, look, thanks very much for your time, Stefan. That, that kind of that wraps up our questions for today and the interview. So I really appreciate you joining me. And it's been a, it's been a great it's been a great uh, chat. Michael, thank you so much. Nice to talk to you. Thanks. Bye bye.